What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna share with you a very effective ball control tactic that I like to use whenever I am trying to control the ball, but I personally don't really like to run the ball. So this is a great concept because um, it just forces the defense to still have to worry about the pass, but it also gives you great spacing, and it really just stretches the defense out, especially in this year's game with the way offense is right now. Uh, this concept is absolutely incredible, and it comes to us out of the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook in the shotgun bunch formation, uh, which is the best formation in Madden 22 right now. Now, if you're new to the channel or you've not gotten my offensive guide yet, I do want to encourage you to do that. I actually broke down an entire guide on the gun bunch. We started with the Seattle playbook, and then we've also added an updated concepts uh, from other playbooks as well. Things from Indianapolis, things from Carolina, things from Washington, as well as some other gun bunch concepts that you can use so uh, it's really a comprehensive guide on this offense and this offense has been one of the best offenses year in and year out and this year is no different in fact this year i would argue it's the best that it's ever been um, in terms of being super effective but i wanted to give you a concept um, that i really like to do i've been doing this for years and you can honestly do this out of a couple different plays so the first play we're going to do this out of is the play spacing and the second play that I'm going to grab is the play tight end hook. Now, the way this game plays this year is also really important to understand in terms of how yellow zones interact with hitches and how man coverage also interacts with hitches. So we're going to break all that down for you in this video. And what you want to do is you want to come out with your gun bunch to the short side of the field. The reason you want to come out with it to the short side of the field is I'm going to show you a little trick that we can get some extra hot routes onto our gun bunch. So I'm just gonna set up kind of the basics of the most popular defense in Madden right now, and that is the Meta Mabel concept, uh, which is this right here of the 335, as you can see. And what we're gonna do is we're going to simply take the, if you take a look at the X receiver, the solo receiver, if I wanna put, or I'm sorry, the square receiver, Mike Evans, the solo receiver, if I wanna put him on a hitch, as you see when I pull up his hot routes, I'm not able to do that. I can put him on a curl, but I can't put him on a hitch route. Curl flats will do a pretty good job at stopping curl routes, but they won't engage or interact with a hitch route. That's a concept that we've been doing um, for the last couple of years that is super, super glitchy and super effective. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the circle receiver on a hitch, as you can see here, I can easily put him on a hitch, and then I'm just going to flip my gun bunch, and then I can put the running back on a swing or table route. And now if you take a look at that solo receiver is now running the hitch route that is super hard to guard. And why is it hard to guard? Because it is outside the numbers. Anytime a hitch route is outside the numbers, it becomes darn near impossible for the defense to be able to guard it. So when I snap this ball, what you're going to see is the flats are gonna get pulled out and I can easily check down to that hitch for about five to 10 yards. This is an incredible concept because it just really does work over that hard flat coverage. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a little bit of extra coverage on the field. I'm gonna put a couple vertical hooks, which are the most outside breaking of the three hook zones, probably the best hook zone in the game to guard a hitch route this year. And you're gonna see this concept right here. I like to use the table route. If you can't use the table route, you can easily just get away with this swing route. You see that swing route this year really jets out. And as you can see, the vertical hook does not interact with that short side hitch route. It's a great concept for uh, zone coverage. There's really no zone in the game that is going to guard this. So now you might be saying, okay, Cody, well, what if they user that? Okay, so what if they user that? Let's just assume that that's gonna be taken away. So we're gonna set the concept up. This is where this left side comes in handy. And what I like to do on the left side is I actually like to take this square receiver and motion him to the left just a step or two, just like that. And what you'll see is his hitch is now outside the numbers, the flat zones get pulled out, and as you can see, we're easily able to check down to the square receiver. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating this spacing concept on, on both sides of the field. And what that allows us to do from a passing perspective is really put their user in a lot of uh, just a lot of conflict. There's not, it's not easy for him to get to the ball. Let me show you this uh, route to the square receiver if you just leave it stock. You'll see that the vertical hook, you see how he sits in that spot right there? That's because it's inside the numbers. 
we want to get that outside the numbers so that it can get open. That's where the motion snap comes in. And what you'll see here is I'll drop those vertical hooks, put them in a good situation. And then obviously I've got uh, you know my hitch concept set up on the right. But then on the left side, what I'm going to do is again, I'm just gonna motion this guy a step, snap the ball. And you're gonna see now that yellow zone doesn't quite get out there and I'm able to just check it down to the square receiver. Another little trick that you can do from this is essentially get the yellow zone on the left side because again, we're forcing them to use her on the opposite side of the field, which is not typically where someone wants to use her when they're defending the gun bunch. But in this situation, there's literally no zone that's gonna get over there. So what we can also do from this is we could take the R1 player and put him on a hitch as well. And you see, he's gonna hold that vertical hook and then we can easily just check it down to the square receiver without having to motion snap or anything like that. So that's zone coverage. Let's talk a little bit real quickly about man to man. And obviously what we're going to show you first and foremost is shaded down man coverage. Shaded down man coverage, in my opinion, is gonna serve the best threat to get these. And what you're gonna see here is they do. They do a good job. But here's the problem with shaded down man to man coverage in Madden 22. Shaded down man to man coverage is not a good look because what I can simply do, all I have to do against shaded down man-to-man uh, -man coverage in this year's game is simply take the, um, the R1 receiver or whoever and put him on a vertical route. What you'll see is he's automatically gonna get that inside position and then I can get that over the top. And then let me show you another method of which you can also beat this. The best way to beat it is to play verticals um, in my opinion, the best that's the best kind of scenario for your offense is to go to the play verticals in that scenario and use the power of the wheel route. The other thing that you can do this year um, is you can actually motion snap these hitches. Let me show you this real quick. And you're gonna see that's shaded down inside and it's that motion snap is not covering the motion snap. So they typically don't do a great job on motion snap hitches this year even if you're shading underneath. So that's another reason why I really do like to uh, go ahead and shade him underneath. Now, if you run the original concept and they are in this, um, this kind of like shaded down man coverage, what you'll see is a circle receiver will actually run a slant route and kind of get inside leverage on the slant. That's kind of a little bit of an advanced thing. You could also smart route that route if you wanted to, uh, just to kind of get it a little bit deeper. But then the other thing that I wanted to show you real quick was again, I just want to show you these interactions, but this, this concept is really a lot of fun. And I like this right here. I love this way to run it. And typically what you'll see is if they're, if they're like that, you see he's in front. If he's in front, that's your cue not to throw it. Okay, that's your cue to check into something else or scramble or throw it away or whatever. So shaded down man-to-man -man coverage does um, oftentimes stop this concept. However, another way that you can hedge your bet is you can take the R1 receiver and put him on an in route. That in route will really get great separation against man coverage right off the rip. You can easily rip that ball quick over to that player. And what's also cool about that is let's say that they're setting up that zone concept that we were talking about. What you'll see in this year's game um, is that this R1 receiver on an in route is going to do a really fantastic job of pulling this zone just enough. And I can th I should have thrown that just a little bit earlier, but he'll pull the zone just enough to allow an opening. So let me show you that real quick. Let's set the coverage up. And again, that's primarily with this in route to the R1 receiver. So you see here, we're just looking at that two man interaction, snap the ball and I'm just low ball and kind of right out in that little avenue. Uh, right there, we end up getting covered. But like I said, that's also why I like to motion snap uh, the square receiver. You'll see that if we do that same setup, uh, let, me flip the, let me flip the play here. And I don't think we're gonna have time to get into that second play in this video. We'll talk about it down the road. But again, just snap, kind of motion him out just a smidge. And look, there's no yellow zone that's gonna get out there. There's just none. Because again, he's at the numbers. That's the beauty of this offense. So all that to say, guys, this spacing concept is incredibly effective for ball control. I love this for a ball control concept this year. Um, you're going to, I think, see and have a lot, a lot of success 
just trying to control the ball with this concept this year. This play is really, really good um, in the red zone. It's one of my favorite concepts. And again, um, you could also run this to the short side, and I didn't get into the short side setup yet, but the short side, it's the same exact setup, but you notice that now that solo receiver is just out, just inside the numbers. So we're gonna get a little bit of a different interaction on both sides of this. But watch this vertical hook. You see, it's also leaving that middle hook wide open. So really wherever they don't cover with their user, they're in a lot of trouble with this concept. So anyways, guys, that's the spacing play out of Gun Bunch. This is just one of the literally probably 50 to 60 setups that we've provided for you in our Gun Bunch uh, offensive guide. So if you want to take advantage of that, it's super cheap right now. It's just 15 bucks. I would encourage you to get that and start absolutely being coming a lethal passer in Madden 22. If you want to get the guide, all you have to do is head down into the description. If you click down in the description, there's going to be a link that says you can pick up the guide by clicking this link. You click that link, it takes you over to my website, and then that'll get you all squared away, and we'll get you that guide emailed over to you. So if you want to get the guide, just head down to the description, click the link, and, uh, and then it'll get you all squared away. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed this concept, and I really hope you implement this. This has been a very effective concept for me over the last couple of uh, games that I've played.